Hello everyone, my name is Ricardo Calleja and I would like to share with you my review about the data analytics for business program being taught at St. Clair College in the downtown campus in Windsor. Here we have the, web, the official website of the program where you can see an overview and if we go into the details, these are the courses being taught. Semester one, two, three and four. So far, I have completed semester one and semester two. So that is what we will be mostly focusing about in this review. Okay, now a few notes. Regarding the program length, it is two academic years, which is around 720 days if you do the math. In my case, my program started on September 6, 2022 and is expected to be finished by August 26, 2024. Now keep in mind that you will have a summer break. At the present time, I asked if it was possible to take summer classes, but due to the lack of resources of the college, it is not possible yet. At the end of the program, you will receive a credential, an Ontario College Graduate Certificate, which is a postgraduate. A key aspect here is the money. For international students, that will cost around $16,000 per year. So you have to save in your pocket around $32,000, Canadian dollars for the whole program. Attendance, for now, uh, it seems to depend on each professor on the course. A few professors, they assign a percentage of the grade for attendance. Some others, they do not care if you show up or if you don't, at least regarding grades. But it is mandatory for a midterm and uh, for final tests, final exams to, to attend in person for those. Um, many classmates who were able to find jobs, they just attend for the test and they do totally okay. And now that we talk about work, that is a key aspect. Um, it was usually international students were allowed to work up to 20 hours per week. But recently, um, due to a special situation, they are now allowed to work full time and uh, a few classmates are being able to handle both things. Full time jobs and attendance to college. Now, these are the subjects or the courses being taught on semester number one with the credit units. And let's start with the first one. Introduction to data analytics. Uh, this is highly introductory course. You will be just be shown a few concepts. You will discuss about it. You will not go deep into anything just to get you familiar with the technical jargon used in the field like big, what is big data, databases, data, data mining, business intelligence, supervising and supervising learning, artificial networks, but it's just uh, a brief review. Now, this one on basic statistics, uh, in my view, it was the best course of semester one. It was highly practical. The course was divided into mostly into practical sessions where you learn our programming language using our studio software and everything to get familiar with you will get it on this book which is free I'll share the documentation and the links but for sure you will get your hand you, you will put your hands into the data uh, transforming data plotting Use all this using R Studio. It's really a great course. It's definitely worth attending. Now, on introduction to artificial intelligence, uh, as I wrote here, you will not practice that much. It's just a brief discussion about a few topics like turning tests, tape of agents, um, ethical aspects of artificial intelligence. The only practical thing was that at the end of the course, we had to build a chatbot. But all of this, 
uh, was before ChatGPT. I do believe that now, actually I did it. If you just search on YouTube and use ChatGPT, you can build a chatbot way much better than what we did in class in, in less than 30 minutes. Now, information manager, management. This course was entirely, exclusively to get familiar with IBM DB2, that is a database program for uh, developed by I IBM. Um, it's highly specific. Uh, what can I tell you is that first, all the information is available for free in the IBM DB2 website, uh, the, in the documentation. Um, there are lab sessions where you will install the program in your laptop and you can practice, but you're not that free because the program is not that friendly. And it happened a lot that a few classmates, uh, when they had a small issue with the software, they were almost forced to format their laptops because it's not that easy to troubleshoot IBM DB2. So in my view, I really did not like this course at all. Especially if you're not interested in databases, if your focus is on other thing, it's not that good. Now, on um, semester one, we also had analytic tools and decision making. Uh, in this one, we cover a uh, also, many topics, uh, we focus on Python, and uh, we had a heavy use of, uh, of two platforms, two e-learning platforms. One is called DataCamp, and the other one is called LinkedIn Learning. In those, we were doing a lot of Python courses and trying to use Pandas. Um, at the end of the semester, we had a final project. I really enjoyed that one. You learn how to present a project, how to structure your ideas. You, you touch again all the methodology of presenting something formal. Uh, if you want to have a brief idea, there is a link where you can see the, the work uh, my team did. And now we move to semester number two. The very first course we'll be talking about is machine learning. The best course of the semester, in my view, uh, it's divided into class sessions and lab sessions. In the labs, you will be running Jupyter Notebooks in Anaconda, and you will use, um, even though machine learning is a broad subject, you get really, or we get really specific into this few items. You will do decision trees, random forest, KNN, for regression and for classification problems, uh, as well as some little regression and sigmoid. But you you will learn to build all the parts. Uh, it's the course is very well prepared. Uh, there is added value into the classes, so it is worth attending. It is really interested um, as a support. We use the book uh, The Mechanics of Machine Learning by Terence Parr and Jeremy Howard. The book is totally free, but attending to classes um, is really valuable because you can interact. Since it since the course is highly practical, you will get immediate feedback. Uh, ask whatever doubt you get because not everybody starts the semester with the same uh, knowledge. There are like really pro users into this program. There are people who had never seen Python before. So go to this class, It is you will not regret it. Um, the professor, they developed their material. It's something that you don't find in the internet, uh, in Google. So I, I do believe it's worth paying for, for this class. It's highly challenging. I definitely recommend this course. Now on data visualization, I will just say, in my case, it was just using Tableau. Uh, in class, you're provided with some Tableau documentation, but you all can also get it for free into Tableau website. So I guess you can learn by yourself with the official documentation and with YouTube. I don't have that much to add for that. 
And for advanced statistics, it in my case it was more theoretical statistics. There were lab sessions. Uh, we did the in the same platform called DataCamp. But if you download this book, which is free and online, the slides are also free online. In, in my case, the, there is no added value attending those classes, except if you have like really specific questions. But um, for me, it was just repeating what there's already what is already available for free in the internet and this website. Now for IT service management, this was exclusively about IBM Cognos Analytics. So if you're interested in this software, this is uh, the course for you. If you're not, then there's not that much to add. Also, the documentation is on the internet. There are cl classes and also lab sessions. In the lab sessions, you will install the software and create your reports, connect your databases, you will administer it, users, but it is just IBM Cognos Analytics. And for business analytics and decision making, this course uh, was a combination heavily of a heavily use of SQL queries. And at the end, we, we plotted a few graphs using Microsoft Excel, but I will just summarize it as this is only running SQL queries on SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS, and then doing this, doing the graphical part in Excel. Well, this was my summary. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you very much.